Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome at long last to Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. Oh my god, it has been a long time. So, for those that don't know as to why I'm finishing this all of a sudden, well, actually, I don't know at the moment if when, there, when this video is going up, if this is going before or after a different video on the main channel. Well, just to fill you in, on the main channel, there is or will be a video called My Top 10 Favorite Games of All Time. Spoiler, Minish Cap is on that list at some point. In that video, I say that I plan to play every single game on that list on this channel at some point. So, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, hey, hey, you're Smeef, right? Yes, you're the one who brought the sword to Master Malari. Yes, we did the thing and the stuff. You need to pick up the way you're just in time. You need to pair just well while Rem was sleeping. But only Rem goes the finishing touches on them. Impossible to wake. If you wake him, you'll need to get an item from Syrup's Hut. Try we'll mark on your map for you. He was just awake a second ago, but okay. Yeah, we have to go get a thing to wake the dude up so we can finish our making our Pegasus boots. Because if you remember, if it was a really freaking long time ago, we needed Pegasus boots to get to the swampy mud and caster wilds. So in other words, I now have an excuse to finish this playthrough. I actually have wanted to for a while, but there were a couple things holding me back. First, I was focusing on the main channel for a while, but I got sick of Pokemon, as mentioned in a message video. Um, so, I really wanted to play this again. Uh, I'm going to Minish Woods, right? Yeah, I believe... Well, I have, to, I, have to, I have to get back into the groove of this game. <laughs> this will take me a bit, so I apologize. Because this is literally the first time I've been picking this game up since I last played it, whenever the heck that was. Um, I believe this is Minish Woods. Yeah, I'm going the right way. Um, although, I think I may have to enter Minish Woods from a different direction to reach the hut they're talking about. Right? Maybe? I guess we'll find out. Um. Hmm. Yes, I do. Now, I know I can't get the flippers or whatever you need to swim yet, so... Sorry, I had trouble leaving my menu. Um. So, yeah, the other thing that was holding me out from doing the series was that I had the idea of... Um, having David, the person I had as my co-host, for the entirety of the playthrough. Uh, unfortunately... Um... I, I had nothing against that. I thought that was actually a really cool idea. I don't know how input appealing that would be to all you guys, because I guess I legitimately don't know whether that'd be interesting or, um, or uninteresting. What is this? What is this? Is this just a great fairy? Hello? Come, you're taking a while to come out of your water. Yeah, it's just a great fairy. Okay, welcome to the Adventurous Spring. I have many rupees. Throw into the spring. Oh! I guess I don't know what this is. Yes, sure. Really? You, you have absolutely no rupees left, right? Yeah. Yep. I really don't need your rupees, but I must reward a kind adventurer with your power. Yeah, big wallet! <laughs> Heck yeah! I- Give me all your rupees! Okay, sure. Wait, really? No hesitation? No, not at all. Get have my rupees. Wow, you're a generous person who needs lots of rupees, so have this wallet that holds even more. Oh, I love that. Cool, so I got a big wall. That's not what I was looking for, but I'm glad I went that way. Um, yeah, I would actually love to have a guest on for every episode, but because of how difficult it is for me to record, just my limited amount of time in general, and just how hard, how much, I don't know, it'd be difficult to keep scheduling people. I don't know. I just thought it was more trouble than it was worth. That doesn't mean I won't ever have him or a different guest on ever again. It just means... Um, it's not gonna be every episode, like one I like the idea that I had. Um, well, luckily they had this vase turned over in this house already. Otherwise, I'd never be able to turn big in here, and my whole journey of trying to defeat Vati would have been ruined. Oh, hey, we got the Lon Lon Ranch key door. Oh yeah, I've rather talk to them outside. They were saying they locked the key in the house, um, but now because I got small and went in there, yeah. Luckily, you guys had, like I said, had the pot flipped over, or else you guys would have been locked out forever. Um, so yeah, we're gonna continue this game on our own. I'm really excited to play this game, and I'm- I am still going for 100%ing the game. Minus one possible heart container that you can only get by doing some- Where you have to get all the trophies of every character. I- I, I think they're called tro- or they're figurines. I think they're figurines. Um. Yay, thank you, Smeef. Um. Uh, what was I saying? I completely forgot what I was saying. Like, completely 100% forgot what I was saying. 
Um. Okay, wait, can you fuse skin stones? I feel like you can, yes. Uh, green one. Oh, I had this one! Yay! Yay, they fit perfectly. Something good will happen. Uh, where the heck is that? I know I've seen that before. Oh, I think that's the entrance to the Minish City. I think that's what that is. Yeah, that's the entrance to the Minish City. Okay, I'll go I'll go there eventually. Yay, look at that. I wonder what happens. It'll probably be rupees. <laughs> or another kinstone piece. Alright, is there anything fun in Lanon Ranch? Or is it just grass to cut? Oh, wait, that's a place to be small. Is there a place to turn small? Yes, right here. Um... I forgot- I, I forgot if those things open by kinstone. Oh, hey, I can, I can open this. Uh, or if you have to be- Or if it's Pegasus Boots. I forget which one it is. Either way, I can't do it yet. Yay, 50 rupees! You must be very happy! I'd be happier with five with 500. But, sure. Alright, uh, money. Is this supposed to be something? I feel like something's supposed to be here. But, I don't know what it is. So I guess I can't do that yet. Or I can and just don't know what it is. Uh, I haven't been over here yet, so... Oh, Seer of the Wishes is how to south. So let's go north! Because that didn't tell me what's up there. So I must go up there and explore. Oh yeah, 100% in the game. That's what I was talking about. Um, yeah, there's one heart container in the game that um, you can only get by collecting every single figurine of the game. Which is... Which you collect randomly by trading in mysterious shells. Which I really don't like. Like, I, I don't really enjoy that part of this game very much, so... I don't know if I'll do that, but I will get every other heart, pe heart piece for sure. As well as, um... All of the tar tiger scrolls. Red kidstone piece! Yay! Um, tiger scrolls are all the things that le let you learn new sword techniques. So... And I guess I can't get that heart piece down there until we get flippers and go from a different way. And I, I don't think they're flippers in this game. I think it's like the orb of breathing or something like that. I don't know. And I guess I don't know where this is going to go. Maybe straight ahead? Yeah, maybe straight ahead. Let's see where straight ahead goes. I'm just up here. Oh, hey, uh, an annoying spider thing. A shell. Uh, another wind thingy. And I will use this to fly... Is, are you meant to fly over here with that? Because I can't do that yet. Um, I think that's where you're meant to fly. It wants you to fly onto that water, but that leads to a place you can't go! That can't be where you're supposed to go. It can't be. That would be stupid. I think that's where you actually is supposed to go, because... But that doesn't lead anywhere! Like, it literally doesn't lead anywhere. It would just lead the same place as that does. Ow! Hey! Hey! How rude. Okay, whatever. Here's Lake Hylia. Um, I don't want to go to Lake Hylia, but... Uh, I need to go to Syrup the Witch's Hut, and I, do I can't go directly south yet. Because I don't have flippers. Wait! I know what I do with that wind cloud. I fly over the water. That's what it is. Okay. Wait, I think this is her house. No? No, it isn't? Well, I can turn small and talk to the dog, I believe. Can I fuse kinstones with the dog? My master Stockwell has been coming home far to play with me. So lonely. Arf! Arf! Kinstones! Yeah, but it's a green one, of course, so now I don't have any green ones. Um... I feel like you have to fill this fill this bowl with water. Like, I don't know why, I just feel like that's a thing you have to do. Um, I currently have a fairy in my jar. Uh, who needs fairies? Let's fill this up with some water. I got some water. Let's put it in the dog's bowl. Nothing happens? Nothing happens at all? Then what am I thinking? Am I, I swear that's in a Zelda game, or... Somewhere in this game. Let me try again. Maybe I missed. Maybe I missed the... Maybe I missed the bowl. Maybe now that he's by the bowl... No? Nothing? Nothing! Okay, I guess it was nothing. I guess I was completely wrong and I... Wait! I did notice something, though. Can I go in this fireplace? I don't know if I can. It looks like a small place to go in. No? No, okay. That clearly looks like a little place you can walk into as a minish, but okay. That's fine. Well, I guess I wasted my fairy. That's all right. I can always find more. Um, and our, that's the way to the water temple. 
Uh, so I, and I can't do that yet because I don't have any way to swim. So let's see if I can find... I, I'll let me go back to that place where I float with the tornado. That's how I get to the Syrup the Witch. So I'll be right there. All right, we're floating. We're floating. We can make it. We can make it. We can make it. We made it. Yay. Now we can kill these guys that killed me from afar. How dare you? Okay. Maybe that should have been my clue. Hey, idiot! It's over here! <laughs> maybe, that's what the, maybe that's what they were trying to say. I would not be surprised at all. Nor would I be offended. Uh, where does this way go? A different way of Lon Lon Ranch? Oh, shortcut! Boo -boo -doo -boo -doo. Let's do this, because I think this goes somewhere that I want to go. It'll probably go some secret way. We tornado. This goes... Uh, over to this tornado, over here. We. That's to the left. Ta-da! Um... Okay, cool, yes. This is exactly what I wanted to do. Now this guy, if I'm not mistaken, is like a series of kinstone pieces. Like, he's one... When you fuse with him, which I have, that he'll break the thing faster. And then it'll go in further. There's another kinstone guy, and then it just goes on forward and forward and forward. Or something. Where is that going? What the heck? Or no? Maybe not? Who the heck is that? It's been a long time since the last time I visited Hyrule. I think I'll have a little place where I can sell my kinstones. Oh! Okay. Maybe he just finishes digging after a certain while, after a certain time has passed. Maybe that's it. Because I know after a while he'll have broken through that and you can go inside a cave and you see in the cave he's still digging. So... Uh, and then I, then I think you have to, like, find another Goron, and then he needs more Gorons to help him dig. I don't know, maybe I'm completely misremembering, but... It's funny, I say this is my favorite Zelda game, but I feel like I know very little about it. I know, I, I know, I know the basic stuff, but in terms of, like, knowing where secrets are, or the exact order in which I need to do things, or what exactly something is... Yeah, I guess I haven't played it... As many times as other Zelda games, like Link to the Past, for example, which I knew decently well. At least well enough to do a randomizer of it, but not well enough to, you know, know where every single thing would have been. I found everything eventually, though. Uh, hello. Unique music for this one person. Granny's homemade blue potion? One of you're full of energy. Look around. Um... Granny's blue potion. One sip. Fill a bottle here at only 60 rupees. No thanks. Uh, what is this? Is this what I want? It's fine choice. Limited article. One whiff. You're wide awake. The wake up mushroom. Yes. I will buy that. Thank you. Glad I had 60 rupees. <laughs> Just face sleepy snooze and press R. It'll pop his eyes right open. So it's, it's a key item? <laughs> it's a key item. Okay. That's funny. All right, um, yeah, I'll meet you guys back in Hyrule Town, unless there's something I find on the way that's interesting to point out. Oh, here's a something. Heart piece! I fell in the water! Out of my, with my excitement, yay! And we've got a full heart container, woohoo! All right, now I'll meet you back in Hyrule Town. Oh, hello, it's Malon! Oh, hello there! I'm selling new Trish's Lon Lon for 100 rupees? No! The witch sells, for, sells healing things for 60. And I think her potions heal you all the way. I don't know what Moo Milk does. And hey. Kinstones. Each one is different. 50 rupees. Yeah, let's buy a fit green kinstone. Yay. Can I buy all of them? Because I believe... Oh, I don't have enough money for the rest. But that's fine. But you get rupees everywhere in this game. Um, I Like I've said in previous episodes, red and blue ones are key items, basically. So I wonder if you only buy one... He only sells one of each, and the green one keeps respawning. Because green ones, you know, there's an in, there's like millions of those. Where's the shoe shop? Here's the shoe shop. All right, hello. I recall I guarantee my boy. Uh, yes, thanks. Thank you so much, Ezlo. Wow. Oh my God, you're so helpful. You're almost as helpful as Navi from Ocarina of Time. <laughs> what is this terrible, like bad smell? A wake up mushroom. I should have guessed. So you woke me up. Think that's right. I have something urgent to do. Huh? What now? There are, there are more new shoes. You probably won't believe this, but I have a strange habit of making shoes in my sleep. He <laughs> must have come here because you want some of my shoes, right? You'd have them for free because you woke me up. So what's the finishing touch? Shining them? Was that it? That's the finishing touch. Shining them. 
Okay. So we had to wait for him to wake him up so we can shine the shoes. You do realize I'm gonna be running through mud with them in the swamp. So, okay. Well, now that I have that, now I can go talk, talk to Swiftblade and I can learn a new ability. Then maybe I'll realize, then I'll maybe I'll find out if that newspaper is of any use. In fact, remember that newspaper out in the last episode that was so freaking long ago? Um, I want to see if it actually, if it was, it was supposed to be a newsletter from Swiftblade, meaning like, I'll get a newspaper article every time I'm supposed to learn something new from him, right? Maybe? Let's see. Hello, we've got a new issue for you. Yay, we do! Okay, can you, can I read it? Swordsman Newsletter. Are you freaking kidding me? Heck no. Heck no. Yes, I'd like to read it, okay? Some walls go boom. It may look like a regular wall, but it's something you can blow up. There's actually an easy way to tell, and I'm here to teach you. Build the power in the world and start stabbing the wall. If you pay attention, you can find the dish. Some spots make a different sound. Okay, what else do you have to say? Teach us, teacher. Monsters got you. Don't give a start mashing buttons. Don't know how to fight monsters? Just start mashing buttons. Something will happen. What, what else do you have to say, oh wise adventurer? The magical boomerang. Somewhere you can find an incredibly handy boomerang. It's designed to help you change the direction after you throw it. Or so I've been told. It's just a rumor. Thanks. Anything else? Swiftblade signing off. That's it for our first issue. Plan, grand or shine, two. David, I highly regret making you buy, make, letting me buy that stupid newspaper thing. Wow, that was such a waste. That was it. That was 200 rupees. That thing I just read. If I want to read the next issue, it's another 200 freaking rupees. 200. I think the way I have to go was west there. I think I went the wrong way. That was a little embarrassing. I was starting, I was supposed to storm off angrily, but I went the wrong way. It's okay. I'm still storming off angrily. Don't mind me passing by. That's what we spent 200 rupees on the last episode, guys. I would have rather had nothing. <laughs> I would have rather had nothing than that pile of crap. I was like, hey, do you know about basic Zelda knowledge? Or basic how to tell basic Zelda secrets? I don't know. Okay, oh, I didn't do that thing at the Minish Woods. Although I feel like, if I'm not mistaken, I can go to my map anytime and see that kinstone. Like, watch this. Minish Woods. See? That little flashy thing. So, since I do plan to 100% this game for the most part, um, I never actually went to Swiftblade. I'll be right back. Hey, Swiftblade. I hate your news article, by the way. Absolutely hate it! One star! One star! Could they could your sword. There, run like crazy. That's it. Yeah, no. I don't understand. Oh, so you're gonna say the exact same words? So, when a teacher tells you something, and you say, I don't understand, and they tell you the exact same thing in the same exact wording, they're not a good teacher! No offense. <laughs> you have to- if you don't explain something that someone else- someone understands, you have to explain it a little differently. Like he just said, equip your sword, then equip your Pegasus boots, then run like crazy. Do you understand? No, I don't. Alright, well here's what you do. Press start. Then press B on your sword. Then press A on your Pegasus boots. Then press start to exit. Then use your Pegasus boots by holding A. Ta-da, you did it. That's how you do it. Alright, when you're gonna tell me your, my, your, my next move? Coming up when you jump farther than any other. Oh, Rock's Cape. My favorite, fight, favorite out of the game, actually. That's, I, that's like the, one of the last things you get, though. So we won't be seeing Swiftblade for a while. Thank God! See, I'm, I'm gonna leave his news article a very poor review on, on the internet. And yeah, well, he only sells one green kinstone? I guess I'll buy all of them. Oh, 200 for the blue one? No thanks. I know I'm gonna need these eventually, so how much is this? 300? No! Wow, okay. Yeah. I would have 200 more rupees if it wasn't for a certain news art newspaper article I bought. And it wasn't just a subscription to the news service. That would have been fine too if I just paid 200 up front then I got then I was able to read every article as it came out. That would be somewhat acceptable, but no. 200 rupees per article. 
A magical healing potion is worth only 60. I hate you, Octorox. Actually, I don't. You just, I just need to take my anger out on something. Alright, finally we're gonna do something actually important to the game. Caster Wild. So this is the next... Area-ish of the game. Um... Area-ish, I call it. It's like, it's like a dungeon, but it's not. It's like an area I have to go through. Um, but it's not... It, with, like, puzzles and stuff. And hey, a green kinstone piece. Hooray. Um... But it's not like an actual dungeon dungeon, you know? It's like an outside area. Also, I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just gonna explore till I find stuff. That's something I also decided. I'm gonna go through as much as the game as much of the game as I can without looking anything up. Then when I get to the very final dungeon of the game, I will stop, leave, and uh, find everything that I missed, and then go back to the final dungeon and with you know full hearts and be basically unstoppable. Um, I don't know where I'm. Just oh, I need the bow to go through there. Yeah, I need to shoot that thing with an uh, with this arrow. So yeah, I know you get the bow somewhere in the Caster Wilds. Um, I forget where though. And that would be a way I have to go from a different way. Uh oh, there's another one of those things. Can't go that way yet. What happened? Now that's when Aslan's statue. The eye has an evil glower to it. Thank you for telling me that. I so I totally wouldn't have noticed that without you telling me, Ezlo. That's why you're here. Alright, let's shrinky dink. Because uh, we have to go through this log. And then we're going through here. Oh, goody! Gus Jar! Wait, I didn't change the items. There we go. Gus Jar, we Our blue artichokes! Red artichokes! What, those are supposed to be flowers? No, they're artichokes, dummy. Those are not flowers. If they were flowers, they would have, like, you know, they would look like flowers. But no, they look like artichokes. Also, they look like a random enemy from Mario RPG. <laughs> Let's fall down this hole. Where does this lead me? To bugs. What happens if I murder all the bugs? Will something good happen, or will I be punished for all eternity for killing random bugs that weren't hurting anybody? <laughs> Is this the bow? It is the bow! Hooray! Yay! Now I can shoot enemies from power. I'm not gonna equip it though, because I think I have to go back the long way. Yeah. How the heck do I get to that little- that one over there? Yeah, it actually makes you go through this. There's no point in this section at all. <laughs> like, at all. Like, I feel like it'd be actually be okay if there were enemies around, like flying enemies, that you couldn't hurt without the bow. So on your way, you're like, wow, this is so freaking annoying! I hate this! These guys suck! But on your way, you're like, Ha! Dead! Ha! Dead! You know. I think that would have been better if there were enemies here that you can only kill with the bow. But no, it was just a waste of time. Alright, well, let's see. Can I Pegasus boots across this muck when I'm small? Or how do I actually equip them? No, I can't use Pegasus boots when I'm small. So then what the heck? How do I get over there? Um... Um... Hmm. I guess I'm not sure. Huh. Hold on. Nope, it's like water as you're so- Oh, that, that hurt me every time I touch that. Okay. Maybe I need the thing that lets you swim? Like the- the breathing orb or something? There's another one over there! Uh, I can't go that way yet. I need to swim to go that way. Um... Oh, well now that I have the- the bow, I can kill you. Oh yeah, arrows are a thing, aren't they? Boom! Goodbye! Boom. 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 These are like easy things of the Igors from Link to the Past. Because the Igors like chase you really fast. And then stop and you can't hurt them. Then chase you really fast. These ones just hop towards you with their eye open the whole time. I think there are harder ones we fight later, but I still think they're easier than the ones from Link to the Past. Alright, um... Oh, wait, no! I fly over this! Ha! I did it. I did it, Mom. Look, I figured it out. Alright, and I know... I'm fairly certain I have... I, I do need the swimmy things to get there, because puddles are like deep oceans to a minish. So... Uh... This wall looks suspicious. No? 
It doesn't? Okay. I'm glad I read about that trick from, uh, from Swift Blader. I never would have thought to do that. Did I reach the end of this place? What is it? Does this say something? Do I shoot it? What the heck? Do I just push it? Oh, I just push it. I tried that! It didn't work the first time. Ooh! One of the secret masters! Oh my god, a piece of heart! Yay! Collect four more to make things. Yeah, okay. Um... I am True Master Swordman. Swift Blade the First, Spirit of the Swordsman. Train with me. I will teach your skills out of this world. Not ready to train me. Come back when you have all seven Tiger Skulls. Yeah, this is the final master. You're meant to find him first and be like, wow, I found a secret master. Oh, you, I can't learn anything from you until I've learned things from everybody. So, where are the Tiger Skulls? Here are the Tiger Skulls. One, two, three. Yeah, there are only... There are eight. Okay. Um... So, where am I going next? Oh, I need the Pegasus boots. Uh, we're going this way now, I guess. Oh, okay. Why do I feel like I've been here? This looks familiar. There was an area at the beginning. Oh, hey, green tinstone, yay! I can't go that way yet until I can swim. There's so many freaking areas in this game you can't go till you swim. Oh, hey, I want to talk to this thing. We grant you the power of wind. Yay. Yeah, yeah. We still, we're still still pretending we don't know what that means. Well, I guess if you haven't played the game before, you don't know what it means. But I know what it means. Die. 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 Wow, that was so hard. Yeah, we got five arrows. That was we were. It was so important. We had to hold them above our head and tell everyone. Four, five whole arrows. And when we get to that next area, that next door down there, I think that'll be the end of this episode. We And once again, I've been proven wrong. You don't need to swim. You just need to fly. Who needs to swim when you can fly? And a reg regular chest. A yellow kinstone piece. Okay, yellow ones, guys, are like literal keys. Like... You need yellow ones to get through the current area you're in, or you're in, or some sort of dungeon. Like, um... Like, I believe there are four of those yellow kinstones around the, the, the swamp that I have to collect, and then, um... Then that will open the next area. Oh yeah, I said I would be done with it. Yeah, thank you for watching this episode, I hope you enjoyed. I, again, I apologize for the wait with this series, but it's continuing. Hope you enjoyed going forward. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and see you next time. Rock on.